let's look at the mobile originated call flow in this tutorial mobile originating call flow let's draw this uh, let's say this is the ms bss C VLR and ESTN. So we are assuming that the location update has already happened, and MS wants to make a phone call to a to a landline number in PSTN. Hopefully, I'm drawing these lines as straight. I'm trying to make it as neat as possible. first thing in making a call when mobile wants to make a call is uh, ask for a radio channel where it can do signaling so first thing is that it's asking for a signaling channel but hey I want to make a phone call I want to you know I want a channel where I can talk to different network elements uh, to request service blah 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 and they can talk to me on that channel so you know give me a channel so that is it's asking for the channel in this message to the BSS which is required or request or which you know is responsible for assigning channels with the help of MSC in the RIL 3 radio resource channel assignment request message now this message is also on a particular channel which is readily available for mobile to use which is called the random access channel this is only used for uh, requesting a dedicated channel you it's not sending any kind of signaling for call flow information on this channel at all so this uh, this message also has the reason for requesting a channel and the reason is also in the bss knows the reason in this message which is mobile you know mobile originated call and also the mobile's identity the ms identity the PSS sends back a response which is called the immediate assignment which is called the RRL immediate as channel assignment on the access grant channel in this response it has the channel the standalone dedicated channels information or allotment information for mobile to use from now onwards so mobile so it it has the information of of the standalone dedicated channels information now mobile can actually hop on to that standalone dedicated channel and send a service request message to the BSS which is the DTAP MM mobility management call management service request which is sent on the standalone dedicated channel it's sent to the BSS BSS forwards that message to the MSC VLR DTAP is the direct transfer application part which is a protocol another type of BSS map protocol used for direct communication between MS and MSC VLR uh, BSS just acts like a, a translucent device to forward or relay that message directly to the MSC that's why I've drawn a complete straight line this service request message has the has the service type requested that you know I want to make a phone call so it's a mobile originated call service type that it, mobile is requesting the MSC VLR and also the its identity which could be TIMC, IMC or IMEI after this the uh, depending on MSC VLR it depends on them you know uh, it's optional to do the authorization and ciphering so if before 
so if before making the MOC uh, or mobile originated call request if location update has already taken place that means authorization and ciphering has already taken place so it won't ha it won't happen again here but if not then definitely it's going to happen it happen again so authorization and ciphering is optional after this message so now what happens is again after this uh, the MS actually now sends another data message to MSCVLR DTAP call control setup message it now it wants to set up a call this message has a bearer capability that means speech fax or half rate full rate and also the called party number which is included in this message the MSE after receiving this message actually asks the VLR for its subscriber information you know give me the mobile subscriber information the MSC the, the VLR checks into and and sees whether uh, you know the the MS is allowed to make that kind of a phone call sees its call barring capacity whether this call has been barred or not and sends that information to the MSC that okay, okay or not okay whether, whether we are able to go ahead with this request from MS or not so if he says that okay we are able to go ahead with the request of this MS and he's he or she's able to make a phone call the MSC returns an acknowledgement back to this message saying that in a DTAP call control this is happening in standalone dedicated channel DTAP call control call proceeding message call proceeding message so now the MSC says okay we are okay with this MS and uh, we can go ahead with uh, this MS and he, he or she is okay in making a call. Now comes the time when uh, MSC wants see now the MSC says okay we, we want to go ahead with this so it has to actually allocate or ask the BSS to allocate radio resources to the MS so basically MSC sends a BSS map assignment request to the BSS sends a BSS assignment request now this message has the channel type like what kind of channel that the MSE wants BSS to allocate to the MSAs channel type speech data or signaling channel and also the time slot on the A interface so this is the A, A interface right here also the time slot on the A interface the BSS map assignment request to the BSS BSS translates this message into an RIL3 RR channel assignment command message or assignment command message assignment command message this message has the the time slot number of the radio traffic channel that uh, BSS wants to assign to MS uh, the frequency hopping characteristics and also the transmit power of the MS the MS actually responds back to this message now at this point with the RIL3 radio resource assignment complete message saying that hey I have got the information that you've sent me um, you know I know which radio traffic channel to use and uh, I'm okay with that so it sends an assignment complete message now at this point in time the BS the when the BSS receives this message it does two things it now this is happening in standalone dedicated channel still be MS is using the MS is using the standalone dedicated channel. Now BSS it does two things like I was saying. Number one, it deallocates the standalone dedicated channel because at this point there it connects the radio traffic channel to the MSC trunk. So it disconnects the uh, MS from the, the the standalone dedicated channel from the MS because now the voice path has been established between MS and the MSC. So so does two things. One is uh, uh, assigns the radio traffic channel to the MSC trunk and deallocates 
the standalone dedicated channel from the MS and it sends an BSS map assignment complete message saying that BSS map assignment complete message to the MSC VLR this message signifies the MSC VLR that now MS has a radio traffic channel and there's a voice path which is established between MS and MSC now this is not the complete voice path what's remaining is the establishment of the voice path between MSC and PSTN but at this point the uh, uh, MS user hears a, a little silent you know little silence it hears in the so because the whole voice path is still to be established so now at this point the MSC VLR sends a network setup message to the PSTN which includes the dial digits and also details of uh, specifying which trunk to use for the call. The PSTN receives this message and actually at this time it's uh, locating the destination telephone numbers, the trunk, the, the, the switching uh, uh, final destinations ex local exchange responsible for ringing the phone. So it sends, once it finds that, that local destinations exchange it sends a network alerting message to the MSC VLR that means now PST now basically what happens at this point where what's happening is that the ringtone the uh, the phone is being you know the other the, the, the you can hear the ringtone now so now the MSC MSC VLR is going to send a DTAP DTAP call control alerting message which means that now the MS can hear the ring tone ringing tone on the fast associated channel now once the voice path is established between MS and MSC VLR standalone dedicated channel has already been deallocated de so any kind of signaling which happens after the voice path happens on a fast associated channel so now the MS can hear alerting uh, a ringing tone actually so now when the destination phone goes off the hook the PSTN sends a connect message that the destination phone has actually answered now MSC VLR will send a DTAP call control connect message to the MS saying that the destination phone has gone off the hook the MS actually sends an acknowledgement back DTAP call control connect acknowledge and back on the fast associated channel saying that okay I've got uh, what you wanted to convey to me and now the voice path is full voice path has been established the conversation is taking place thank you very much for listening to this tutorial